Hi there luxury watch lovers! In this channel I cover the background, fundamental design features and things to consider before buying your watch. If you have a luxury watch that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, we're going to cover the Portuguese chronograph. This watch is a fundamental piece in the modern international watch company known as the IWC Collection, representing the idea that not all classic timepieces had to be manufactured in the 1960s and the 1970s. And to be frank, this is a watch that when you put it on feels very personal. It has no preconceived narrative attached to it, and therefore the story is yours to write. The Portuguesa is one of IWC's oldest and most prestigious product lines, with a dial that has remained virtually unchanged for the past 80 years. Christoph Granger Herr, CEO of IWC and Creative Director Christian Knup said, That's why we approached the project of designing the new collection with great care and respectful history. And that they've done. Over its 150-year history, IWC Schaffhausen has built a reputation for producing functional complications, particularly chronographs and calendars that are inventive, robust and simple to use. IWC, a pioneer in the use of titanium and ceramics, now specializes in highly engineered technical watch cases made from advanced materials like titanium aluminide and serotanium. The Swiss watchmakers' timeless creations embody their owners' dreams and ambitions as they travel through life adhering to the principle of form follows function over decoration. There are a few examples in the world of watches that are emblematic of this concept. Consider the Rolex Submariner, the Omega Speedmaster or the AP Royal Oak. These timepieces are the movie stars. Well, the IWC Portuguese chronograph occupies the same position within the international watch company as those models do within their respective brands. Robert Mitchum designed the IWC Portuguese chronograph. It has a sense of style and identity and it only needs minor tweaks here and there over time, but the essence remains constant. And that's what people like about it. The mid-20th century brought so much newness, so much design innovation to the table. Many modern products, particularly watches, can be traced back to designs created during this period. IWC is one of the few brands that can truly trace the majority of its current product line back to the late century design ideals. The Mark series was prominently revived during this period, as was the core of its pilot watch lineup, which included the Doppel Chronograph. In 1995, IWC released a watch that would serve as the inspiration for the Portuguese chronograph. The watch in question was the IWC Portuguese. And then in 1998, IWC introduced the Portuguese chronograph, a tilting pinion chronograph with applied numerals and a leather strap. There hasn't been much change in the 22 years since the original release. In terms of appearance, the watch has been an absolute model of consistency. It takes bravery not to change anything, as IWC did not change the Portuguese chronograph during this time. The only other watch in a similar vein that I can think of is the Omega Speedmaster Professional, but its stability is due to practical considerations, specifically a lot of red tapes associated with maintaining its NASA flight certifications. It is not a space watch and there are no restrictions imposed on it to maintain its appearance. IWC is well aware that the watch simply works, which is why it has remained unchanged for so long. In an era of Lululemon and Gucci crossbody bags, the Portuguese chronograph has become IWC's most popular and best-selling model, somehow perfectly towing the line between sportiness and elegance that everyone seems to have no regard for. Unlike other fashion options, however, the Portuguese chronograph has risen above trends due to its ability to complement nearly any style and any situation. IWC has introduced a number of other calibers and complications to the Portuguese case since 1998, but the chronograph remains the most well-known. Let's take a look at some of the design features. 
This gorgeous watch has a stainless steel case with a diameter of 41 millimeters and a height of 13 millimeters. We're looking at a lug width of 20 millimeters. You are able to see the beautiful automatic self-winding movement through the clear sapphire glass case back. And with a 69355 caliber, it is understandable that it has sufficient power reserve of up to 46 hours. It is also water resistant up to 30 meters. This watch has a gorgeous dial with Arabic markers and is fitted with an alligator leather strap. And depending on which reference you purchase, comes in many colors. Now, this is definitely an investment watch as it has a pretty price tag of $7,950 attached. Here are four things to consider before buying the Portuguese chronograph. Starting with number one, the case. The case size alone does not tell the whole story. The watch effectively lacks a bezel. With a silver dial, the watch appears larger than its 41 mm diameter, as the silver dial creates the illusion that the watch is much larger than it is. Regardless of size, some of you may expect the piece to be a little larger on the wrist when first putting it on. The lugs are not to hang off the sides of your wrist, and the case is to lay flat and comfortable when worn. When the watch is turned on, the overall thickness appears to be quite large, but it is almost imperceptible. You may not consider this to be a thick or dense case. When you view it from the side, these components complement the classic Portuguese case, which reveals its conical contours. The narrow, polished bezel extends past the middle of the case, leaving plenty of room for the dial. With a concave edge curve, the screwed back tapers towards the sapphire crystal. The case's satin finished middle section slopes sharply down to the strap lugs. All of this, combined with the high quality alligator leather strap and its practical butterfly folding clasp, makes it a pleasure to wear. Moving on to number two, the dial. What else can be said about a dial design that has endured and resisted change for so long? Not much, but wearing something and experiencing it in metal may give you a new perspective. There is a textured gradient pattern and radial patterns in the subdials. The applied set of numbers that adorn the dial is a design feature of this watch. Their style harkens back to a more traditional era of watchmaking. The text applied to the right and leftmost sections of the dial surface stands in stark contrast to this traditional ideal. In many ways, the motif embodied there is more akin to mid-century design. The concept of contrast is reinforced, particularly on this model, by several elements, each in blue. There is a set of applied blue circular markers representing the minutes that surround the dial. Every single hand, including the leaf hand set for hours and minutes, is done in blue as well. The way the blue contrasts with the silver and matches the strap creates a nice uniformity in the overall design of the watch. On this dial, there is plenty of room to breathe. The cutoff text on the dial's chronograph isn't anything new. It is something that has been done for many years in watchmaking and watches design. However, it may not be so much an obscuring of the numbers as it may be a slicing of them. On the other hand, for the green dial model, when viewed through its domed and anti-reflective sapphire crystal, does not appear green from every angle, but rather changes from dark green to nearly black, endowing this classic watch with understated elegance. Whether by chance or design, the Portuguese chronograph embodies the timeless modernity for which IWC is known and appreciated. Winding it up with number three, the movement. As one of the most popular items in IWC's portfolio, it now has a manufacturing caliber. This caliber, designated as 69355, is the key new feature in the latest Portuguese chronograph. And the best news is, it's made in-house. 
This is an IWC column wheel, vertical clutch chronograph movement, continuing the brand's recent trend of bringing much of its movement production in house. In the earlier mentioned Hollywood analogy, consider this change to be the new title of the film. The new movement distinguishes this watch from the others that came before it, but the overall design remains unchanged. The caliber is considered by many to be a classic movement size, and as such, it can be used in a wide range of watches. Even though the movement size technically allows IWC to reduce the diameter of the case, any change in the size of the watch would fundamentally disrupt a design that has been in place for so long. To that point, Chronograph Calibre 69355 also includes a strong and precise column wheel to control the stopwatch functions, a rocking pinion to connect the chronograph to the flow of the force from the gear train, and a modern bi-directional effective self-winding mechanism. Pushing mushroom-shaped push pieces control the stopwatch functions. The pressure points are secure here and the buttons operate smoothly to reliably activate the column wheel. The knurled crown is easy to use and can be easily pulled outward into the hand setting position. Strapping it to a close with number 4, the bracelet. When it comes to a watch like this with a known and expected design and size, the wearer adapts to the watch rather than the other way around. You buy this watch because you want it, and most of the time, you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. For those who do not, it's worth mentioning it scratches two distinct itches, the sports chronograph and the dressier stately chronograph. The overall package of this watch has an understated elegance and self-assuredness to it that allows for a great deal of versatility in terms of wear. Overall, despite its size, the IWC Portuguese chronograph fits very comfortably on the wrist, especially with the leather strap. I must say that I consider the silver and blue variant to be the most versatile in the lineup because it exudes levity and fun, whereas the others appear to be a bit more conservative. Overall, this design has permeated the horological consciousness in such a profound way and thus lasted as long as it has. And this wraps up my review of the Portuguese chronograph. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you watching until the very end. Let me know your thoughts on this watch or if there are any other watches you think deserve their own video. And remember, time is your greatest asset.